Hiya folks and welcome back to Fishing with Dan. Now, some time ago I actually showed you how to set up a cage feeder rig pretty much just like this one using this twizzled boom here as a, a stiff standoff to keep the line away from the feeder when you're casting and stop the hook from getting tangled in it as well. Now I made this up on the bank and it's worked very well for me over the years but I have actually decided that uh, I need to do some changes. Before I show you the changes have a quick look at this image so you can see the original uh, setup and in fact there'll be a pop-up coming up in a second just to show you how I did this because obviously I did a video on it as I said. One of the downsides to this uh, old setup is that if you break off because you want to set up a, a method feeder or something you end up with a situation where yeah great if you want to continue with the method feeder that's fine but if you decide the method feeder isn't working either and you want to go back to this sort of a rig you basically got, to, basically got to retie the whole thing. So what I've done is I've actually created these twizzled booms with a swivel on the end as a separate thing and I, I actually tie them at home. I've tied up a few as I say at home and put them into these little packets here uh, so I've got a, a few spares because if you think about it if you want to take this away again and reuse it you can do exactly that. The other good thing about these is that if you make them at home it gives you some advantages as well. First of all if the weather's cold and your hands are freezing it's actually quite difficult especially when you get a bit older like me to tie a twizzle boom and certainly in my case I've got arthritis here so trying tying to so trying to tie a twizzle boom is actually quite difficult on the bank but basically all we've got is a swivel twizzle boom and then a loop obviously as I said you can use it as a loop to loop or this is the one I made earlier for you and forgot to take out the packet you can do it like this whereby you've got the swivel and then on the loop I've just looped on a hook length swivel as I've shown you before and all you do for that is you push the hook length through take it over the top and pull it back and now you can change the hook lengths so to set up then take your main line take your feeder on a clip swivel thread the feeder on and then and this bit's actually optional um, you can actually fit on a little bead and that's to protect the swivel of the twizzled boom um, to be honest I have actually forgotten to do this from time to time and the twizzle boom has still worked fine so twizzle boom take the end of the swivel and tie I'm going to use a tucked half blood knot which is the knot I use all the time if you don't know how to tie this I'll put a, a link up above for you I've actually done a video on that fairly recently so that actually shows you it in close-up so you shouldn't have any problems with tying it if you want to tie a different knot that's fine you can use a uni knot or whatever knot you like as long as you're confident of it wet it pull tight make sure they're properly dressed down and secure then just cut off the tag end and that's the first part of it done now I've actually got the uh, hook length uh, swivel on there and I'm actually going to tie on a hair rig today but I'm going to use a loop on it so I just put it in pull the cover down and that's it so there we are if I just show you the rig now you can see that's the final rig and again as I say the beauty of it is at the end if I want to cut off here I can reuse the twizzle boom and this just makes things a lot easier for me there is one final thing just to point out I do often put on uh, either a line stop or a, a number six shot up there so that the feeder doesn't go all the way down to the rod tip when you're trying to rebate or to take a fish off the hook but that's it so the only thing I've got to do now is to show you exactly how to, how to tie the twizzle boom itself. So the twizzle boom needs to be fairly stiff. So I'm going to use some of this Guru drag line. I'm just going to pull off about an arm's length of it. This is um, eight pounds uh, breaking strain. And that means it's, I think it's 028 in diameter. Double it over, form a loop in one end, and then just tie a figure of eight knot. 
Now you can do that by hand if you're good at it. If you want to do it with a uh, loop tire, as I'm going to do today, you can do that in the crook around once or twice, depending on your preference. Pull it around, pull it out, just wet it a bit and test the knot. Again, if you don't know how to do one of these, I'll put a link up above to a video uh, that shows you how to do it. I like to try and keep my loop quite a reasonable size, probably about the size of a fingernail. And the reason for that is quite simply that if you try and put a hook length swivel on here and you've got to pass it through and over the swivel, as I explained, it's just very difficult with a very small loop. So try and keep the loop of a reasonable size. Then just take the line and twist it against each other to create the twizzled boom. Now, if you can twist them against each other with both hands, that's great. Unfortunately, with my arthritis, I can't do that. So it makes things a little bit awkward for me, which is another reason why I make these things up at home. Just keep twizzling until you get to 30 centimeters or thereabouts. That's a foot in old language. Right, then you're not quite finished. You're going to pull it all the way down like that. Not tight, just get to the loop and then allow it to twizzle back up. That tightens all of the twists up. And you can see we still need to twist some more now because it's actually allowed us a bit of extra line here. Keep twizzling, get to your 30 centimeters, round about that, and just do it again from about the halfway point. Twizzle back up, there we go. Right, lock it off. And then all we're gonna do is just create an overhand loop. Pull that down. This isn't staying, so you don't need to wet it. It's only there to stop the twizzles from coming undone. Just cut off the tag ends. And now we're going to tie it to the swivel. As I said, we've probably got somewhere about 30 centimeters there to the loop and to the tied end. And again, we're going to use the tucked half blood knot. But this one, it's important you get it right. Because this line is twizzled, um, it does actually complicate things in terms of tightening down. And I'll explain that in a second. If you go to about sort of, oh, I don't know, 80 to 100 millimeters from the, the loop to the uh, swivel, like that, put your finger in and then start to tie the knot. So I'm only gonna use three turns on this one because I find that with the 028 millimeter line, and um, the twizzle, it makes it easier to do it this way. Again, just pull tight, but don't go all the way. When you get to about there, wet it, and then just start to pull down gently. Okay, just keep doing it, keep dressing the line down, pull a little bit, dress a bit, like that. And then you make sure that everything is very secure. Pull against it hard. You've got effectively, what, 16 pounds worth of pressure you can put on that. And just to test it properly, I'm gonna use this um, Guru uh, baiting needle, knot picker, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna put it into the swivel and then I'm gonna pull hard like that. If there's any movement at all, this is when you'll find it. There's not, so that's a good knot. Now, do you remember what I was saying about this overhand knot at the end there? We're just going to cut it off in the usual way. And that's how we make up the twizzle boom. That's all there is to it, guys. It's actually fairly simple, isn't it? And making it at home, as I say, they're reusable. So the good news is, um, I, I must admit, it causes me some pain here. The good news is, by reusing them, I have to make less of them, and it does my thumb a lot, a lot of good. Anyway, that's it. Hope you found that one useful. Um, certainly it's been uh, useful for me over the, the past six months or so. But anyway, the only thing you can do is go out and give it a try. So that's it for another one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the button. If you want to subscribe, you can do that too. And until the next time, bye for now.